simple cups are little tiny silicone cups for pulling out or helping to avert a nipple. My name is Cassie Reyes. I am a registered nurse and an international board certified lactation consultant. I work in hospital setting and also outpatient and am one of the founders of People's Lactation here in Washington, DC. Welcome to the channel. If you're new here, please subscribe down below and hit the bell so that you're notified each week when we post a new video. So that's what a supple cup looks like. And a supple cup works by just squeezing, placing it over the nipple, and releasing. And on a real breast, it's going to stay on and extend the nipple up into this. You can wear supple cups under your bra. I'm gonna put a picture of a breast shell up on the screen. Um, this is what you would want to put over the supple cup if you're trying to wear it under your bra so that your bra doesn't knock the supple cup off or break the suction. That way you can wear it um, as you get used to it for longer periods of time throughout the day. Alright guys, so I wanted to clarify how long that you can wear the supple cups for. So it's just looking at the manufacturer's website and they do recommend starting out slow. So wearing the supple cup for about 15 minutes on the first day and gradually working yourself up as tolerated um, to up to four hours by the end of the first week. And they do say that in clinical trials that after several weeks of using supple cups that the nipples may stay elongated. However, I will give you a, a word of warning from a, a little bit of experience in playing around with these and also just in the experience of working with um, lactating parents in that when an inverted nipple starts to come out, it can be really sore because that nipple is used to going in like this so when it starts to come out, that skin hasn't been exposed to the air before, so it can be very sensitive and can be really uncomfortable and kind of raw feeling. So, oh, sorry, touch my mic. It can be very uncomfortable and a little bit raw or tender feeling when that nipple starts to come out. So if you're experiencing that while breast or chest feeding your baby, you may also need to do nipple rest periodically as you get the nipple used to that eversion. Nipple rest would involve um, skipping some feeds of putting baby to breast while you do some pumping on a low suction that is tolerable and letting your nipples heal. You can do this in pregnancy, but I would recommend doing it towards the end of pregnancy because any stimulation of the nipple in pregnancy can cause contractions of the uterus. So make sure if you're thinking about using anything like pumping or supple cups to help evert the nipple, that you check in with your OB to make sure that you're at a safe place in your pregnancy to do so. All right guys, it's getting um, a little bit dark on me, so I'm going to stop recording for the day, but I'm super happy to have you here. Thanks for joining our community, and we hope to see you down in the chat where we wanna share more information with other families who are starting out their lactation journey, or just support one another, and feel free to ask questions or make suggestions down below for other videos that you might be interested in seeing. Remember that we post a new video here every Tuesday, so if you're new here and like the content, please give us a like, subscribe down below, hit the bell so you're notified each week when we post new content, and as always, please share these videos with any other families that you think could benefit from this information.